Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a function. Now remember, we're only going to do this for one-to-one -one functions. So in this process, we first want to swap out this f of x notation with just a y. This will be just so we can keep track of our variables just a little bit better. All right. Now let's go ahead and switch the role of x and y by literally replacing y with x and then we will replace x with y. Okay, so now we have the expression let's see, x is equal to 4 divided by y plus 7. All right? Now we're going to go ahead and try and solve for the y. Notice how it's at the bottom of a fraction. So we're going to multiply both sides by a y plus 7 Right. And let's go ahead and distribute through by this x. So x times y plus a 7x equals 4. All right, things are looking pretty good. Remember, we want to get the y all alone. So let's go ahead and start moving these things to the other side. Maybe subtract a 7x, subtract a 7x. xy is equal to 4 minus 7x. All right. All right, one last step. To get y all alone, looks like we'll have to divide by x on both sides. This will give us y is equal to 4 minus 7x all over x. All right, looks pretty good. And we can go ahead and write this as 4 over x minus 7 if we want to give this x to the 4 and to the 7. Now there is one last step. We want to put in our function notation. So this is basically the inverse and the way we write that is we have the f of x but since it is the inverse we're going to put a negative one right there. So equals 4 over x minus 7. So this is our inverse function. If you'd like to see some more videos please visit mysecretmathtutor.com